Good morning, good morning, and this is Wake Up Millville, <laughs> and this is a good, good morning new show. And want to introduce us? Um, my name is John. This is my partner, my dad, Mark. What's the name of our business? Our business is John Crazy Socks. All right, what's our mission? I will miss his pain happiness. Hi, right, so what do we have here? We have the Good Morning News good, Show. Good Morning News Show. Or the Good News Morning Show. All right. All right? We'll have to come up with a catchy name. You want to come up with a catchy name? Sure. Right? But we're about spreading happiness. Yeah. We're going to share some good news. Absolutely. All right. So what we'll try to do is share some good news that we see going on in the world, right? Right. You want to start with the story? Uh, I got the story. Our friend, uh, Debra, crowned Corey Shop and anyway, over $50,000. So this uh, is very cool, right? Uh, really cool. We, we love supporting businesses that work with people with different abilities. And John's friend, Gabby, and her mom, have started an online coffee business. Wow. Called Gabby's Grounds. You did a show, a live show with Gabby from right. the, uh, at the National Down Syndrome Society's Adult uh, Summit, right? Absolutely. So they ran a GoFundMe campaign and they raised $50,000 to start their business. Wow. You know what? Maybe we should do that. <laughs> That'd be great. We, we could use money to grow our business. That'd right? be great, Dad. But that, that's great. Congratulations, Gabby. I love, I, love, I love what you're doing. We love to see entrepreneurs striking out, you know, and, and striking out on their own, building a business. Right. Are you, are you representing a dangle job? Right. That's very cool. So, you want to tell that story? So, uh, 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 um... Uh, I just thought about Trump Queen, a uh, girl with, with Down the Trump. Uh, that's right. Down in Orlando, Florida. Let me get this straight. All right. Um, yeah. She, uh, in Florida, at the Alonzo and Tracy Morning High School. Wow. Alonzo Morning used to be a big basketball player. Grace Long was chosen as prom queen. Wow. And, and Grace happens to have Down syndrome. That is wonderful thing. Isn't that a quite a great story? That is wonderful. Right. You remember going to your prom? I, I, I remember a prom of Great Gatsby. Oh, it was a Great Gatsby theme. What did you do? What did we do before you went to the prom? Right? Uh, yeah. Why? Remember? Oh, uh, I forget. Let's see. I took you and your friends in to get haircuts and hot shades. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's fun. And you dressed up in a tux. Oh, yeah. Did you look sharp? Oh, yeah. Hey, babe. Are you like my tux? <laughs> I, I, I look like Chip Bond. <laughs> <laughs> so, congratulations, Grace Long. Um, she, said she, I, she said, I felt like I was stepping into Cinderella. Wow. Isn't that wonderful? That is wonderful thing. I, I, love what, I love what you're doing. Right? Okay. Let's go to the next story. Next story. And this group with, with a, a down syndrome. Is, and they're going to perform where? I uh, perform at Washington, D.C. With Andy Grammer. With Andy Grammer. That's very cool. Wonderful. I love Andy Grammer. Right? So, the Davinio Dance Group, which is from Bethesda, Maryland, um, and that the, everyone in the dance group has Down syndrome. Wow. And they're going to perform tonight at a big gala in Washington, D.C. It is the Acceptability Gala. Very neat. You know something about Very the cool. galas, right? Very cool. Um, so congratulations to the Davinio Dance Group. Uh, we right. love to see people with differing abilities showing the world what's possible. Right? Absolutely. I'll follow you can do. Right? All right. What's that next story? Our next Story about um, more uh, Morehouse College. Morehouse College. And they just had their graduation last graduation. week, and it was a surprise. The speaker 
at the graduation, the graduation speaker was Robert F. Smith, wow. who is a major businessman, right? And while giving the speech, and he spoke about, and this happens all the time at commencement speakers, they're telling the students, here's what you can go and do in the world. But he decided to make a difference in their lives. You know what he told all the graduates? Yeah. He was going to pay off all of their student loans. So no student loans, that's gonna cost him $40 million. Wow, that, that is That wow. is the best graduation gift I've ever heard of. That is, well, that is wild. That is awesome. That is amazing. Right? But that is a man who is helping change the world. Right. That's very cool. All right, we got another story to share. Yeah. This no, one's from Minnesota. Um, this is a story of a firefighter getting a kidney. A firefighter's getting a kidney, and here's a great story. So a number of years ago, a woman daughter was in a car accident and she went into a seizure and firefighters arrived and a volunteer firefighter named Bill Cox from the Bearsville, Bearville Volunteer Fire Department he showed up on the scene and he took care of that young girl he calmed her down, got her through the seizure and her mom Becca Bundy was incredibly grateful so now jump ahead a few years, and Becca is going to a party at a friend's house. It was a charity fundraiser party. And who's tending bar but Bill Cox, the same firefighter who saved her daughter. And he's wearing a t-shirt with a special message on it. And the t-shirt said, please help me. I'm in end stage renal disease uh -huh. and I need a new kidney so here's what happens do you know how many kidneys you have I don't know you have two uh, I, I just my body that's uh, in your body uh, they're, by, like. they're both back I, here you have kidneys and they help clean up the bloodstream okay right I, I, well I, here's right. what happens it turns out we really only need one kidney the other one you can think of, it, it helps when your kidneys are busy and it's a backup. Right? Well, Bill was born with only one kidney. And he, had, and he developed a disease where his kidney was shutting down, it wasn't working. And you can't live without a kidney. So he had to get what they call dialysis, where he goes on a machine, and the machine kind of functions like a kidney. But without a new kidney, Bill was going to die. So Becca sees him at this party and says, Bill, you saved my daughter once. I want to repay you. You know what she did? Yeah. She donated one of her kidneys to him. Wow. And saved his life. Wow. Isn't that a great story? That is an amazing story. It, it's really something. Right? That's one of the things we're learning here. Right. The more you do for others, the better off you are. Absolutely. So that's a bunch of good news stories. Right. We have Gabby Grounds getting a business off the ground. We have a prom queen in Florida who has Down syndrome. We have a Down syndrome dan a dance group with Down syndrome performing at a big gala in Washington, D.C. We have this remarkable, generous, munificent gift from Robert F. Smith to the graduates of Morehouse College. And we have the story of Becca and Bill. Bill saved Becca's daughter. Becca's donating a kidney. Pretty awesome. Okay. That's some good news, huh? We have some personal good news in our life, right? Right. Um, I, I've What's got, going on today? I'm just fresh. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll go look to, uh, uh, any questions, any comments? So, it seems that not only we are up early in the morning right now, but I have people being very happy to see that Good News Wednesdays are a great way to start the day. 
That's good. Devika, Jacob, like Jamie. That. And we have people watching from all over the world. A lot of people from Ireland, the UK, wow. Nashville. <laughs> all good places. You've been to Ireland, right? I went to Ireland. Your grandmother was born in Ireland? Like she right? was. You've got Irish roots? Haven't taken to Nashville. We gotta get to Nashville. Oh, well, I'll yeah. tell you, I've been to Nashville. It's a great Nashville, town. Nashville, really good. We go down to the Ryman Auditorium, which used to be the original uh, Grand Ole Opry. We could go out to the Grand Ole I, Opry. I, I really play that. What? Uh, I, the horse. Ride the horse? You can ride a horse? Ride the horse. You want to ride a horse all the way to Nashville? I'm going I to do our old countries. You like country our, music? Our old country music. And, and I feel like a cowboy, <laughs> a cowgirl, and um, I have a barbecue. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, so let's talk about some good news we have. Right. Where are we going today? Uh, good news is because today we go to a graduation. Um, I, I, my brother, girlfriend, Emily, is, is graduating from Columbia. Right, she is graduating from the Columbia School of Social Work. Social Work. Uh, Emily uh, is it's gonna be a therapist, thing. right? She's worked very hard at this, uh, and she is gonna be a wonderful therapist. She, right? she works. She has such great empathy, such great social intelligence. She is an incredibly impressive woman, right? <coughs> Ooh, God bless you. Do you need an active? I'm sorry. No problem. Right? So we're going to go into the city for Emily's graduation and celebrate great. her achievement, right? That's great. And, and then um, we're going to take her to dinner. That's great. Take her and Patrick. And, and then what are we doing then, tonight? Tonight, we're going to see Patrick at his, his, his performances. Uh, he made the house of improv. And I, I, I want to let people to know. So Patrick does improv. And he is part of the Upright Citizen Brigade's house team. Right. So we're going to see him perform tonight, right? Right. Um, what do you want people to know? I, I want people to know. I, 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 if you around a local, a local uh, uh, up to New York, uh, come, come to see my brother. That's uh, a good thing, right? It's the Upright Citizen Brigade. It's their... Comedy Theater, I think and Amy Poehler was one of their founders. Um, and he's performing at 7.30 in their theater in Hell's Kitchen, right? And I gotta tell you something, right? I'm a proud papa. He is. Patrick is so impressive. He's been working so hard. People talk about wanting to make things happen. Patrick actually does. He's been working hard and learning his craft and improving. And he's getting better, he's getting recognized for it. That's how he earned a position on their house team, right? It's really uh, wonderful. Is he I, funny? He's very, very, I, I really make me that. What? A proud brother. A proud brother. A proud brother. <laughs> I, I'm very proud of Patrick and Ada. Then, we have other things going on tomorrow. We're gonna find something out. Do you know what we find out tomorrow? Do you remember? We are semi-finalists for the EY Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Ernst & Young sponsors a national contest, and we've made it to the semifinals for the New York region, and we will find out tomorrow whether or not we're finalists. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Uh, we went into a judge's meeting last week, so we had to reply. And then if you apply, they selected people in an interview, and we had a whole team come and interview us here, right? And then last week, we had to go in for the, to meet a panel of judges. They invited the semifinalists to meet with judges. We went in last week. That was pretty good, right? Pretty good. You think you did well? I did. Yeah. You like talking about your business, don't you? I do all the time. And we'll find out tomorrow. And plus, tomorrow, and I think we've shared this with people, right? We're, we're trying to, we're growing our business, and we're outgrowing this facility, so we're looking for what would be a permanent home. But we are in talks with the town of Babylon, here on Long Island, and the master developer for a project called Wine Dance Rising, 
which is a redevelopment project in a community that's been down for a long time. And we want to be part of the revitalization of that area. But what we're talking about is a building that would house us on the ground floor and above would be supported housing for people with different abilities. So people could live independently, like you. My dad. Very cool, right? Exactly. So we're hoping to pull that off. And then it's Memorial Day weekend. And Memorial Day weekend. And we're going to be go again. We're going away, right? Right. Who are we going away with? Who are we going to see? Me, my dad, and my, and my brother Patrick, and his girlfriend Emily. Well, we're driving down to Pennsylvania with them, right? Right. And your other brother Jamie is coming? Yeah. And he's bringing some friends, and we're going away for the weekend for the to the project. Uh, I think it's exciting. It's very exciting. It's hard to explain this, right? So, 30 years ago, friends of ours invited us down for a family reunion. Not our family, not their family. And we came down, your mom and I, before we had any kids. And it was a wonderful time. And we've been going every year for 30 years, every Memorial Day. It's the Booth and Dart family and the Brace family, and they embrace us. And you know what? You, the first time you went there, you were about three and a half months old. You were a brave little trooper because, so you were born, what's your birthday? Uh, February 11th. February 11th. I wish, I, wish my, I wish my birthday every day. Yeah, you wish your birthday was every day. So you were born February 11th, and in April of that year, you had open heart surgery. And yet you still made your first appearance at the project in May. You are a tough trooper, right? So we're going to go down there, and we camp out. On an old farm that's a family farm in uh, Mansfield, well, Pennsylvania. I sleep in a hotel. You're not sleeping in a hotel. You're off in a tent, pal. And then where are we going to stop on the drive down on Friday? Oh, yeah, I call it a glass museum. A glass museum in Corning, New York. You excited to go visit? Very, very exciting. Right, we're going to see them make some glass. We may even be able to make some glass. Right? And they do some very, very cool things. Right. So, any other good news you want to share? Oh, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to share Mets 1 last night. Oh, the Mets 1? All right. Mets have been struggling, huh? Yes. Mets 1 last night. You got any other sporting news? I, uh, yes, uh... No. You're gonna read the script. Um, a Yankee player play Benoit. Yeah, they beat what the Yankees won last night, and the French Open is starting. The French Open. You know what sport that is? Yeah. Tennis. Okay. Oh wait, you forgot something. No, nope, you can skip that one. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell. What's Taco Bell doing? They're gonna open a hotel? Yeah, I got to open a hotel. Wait a second. Is the hotel gonna be a giant taco? <laughs> Do you think that's what it's gonna be? You could river raft on the hot sauce packets. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, uh, I wanna talk about the weather. Oh, okay. And the weather be like a monthly sunny and wind at northwest five to fifty miles per hour. Uh, tonight, though, uh, will be mostly cloudy, straight up shower towards morning, a low in the 50s. We're going to have to get one of those green screens so you could stand in front of the map and say, there's a high coming in from the west and a low coming down from Canada. That's just not good, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, Dad. Yes. Uh, our, 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 our quote of the week. Quote of the week. Quote of the week call, uh, I count your A's by your friends, and nine years. Uh, nine years. Uh, nine years. I uh, count you, your life by your smiles, not tears. John Lennon. The oh, I see. Wait a second here. What's going on here? Smiles, not tears. 
I wanted to look at the comments that we had. I'm looking at myself on the screen. That's no good. All right. Here we go. Um, all right. So, how many com what comments? We got lots of people commenting, John. I wanted to respond to them. Okay. You want to tell us, Christy? Some of the comments? Yeah. Sure. So, we have Go Yankees, John. Go Yankees. We have Have a Wonderful Weekend from Laura. Cassandra says, John, I'm with you. Hotel over tent. Um, <laughs> Jenny's saying, what a great idea for housing for people with differing abilities. You guys, thank you guys for spreading happiness. Um, lots of comments on how awesome that housing would be. Yeah. Well, that's really important. I mean, our view of the world is we've made great strides in the medical arena, right? And you, look at you, pal. When you use three days old, John had intestinal bypass surgery. And before you were three months old, you had open heart surgery. That's pretty amazing, right? And those surgeries weren't happening five, ten years earlier. So we've made great strides in the medical arena. We've made great strides in education. Did you get a good education at Huntington High School? I did. Back, you visited there yesterday, right? I did. What, what did we go to high school to do yesterday? I have to do phone. I have to uh, uh, get the uh, election. I have to uh, uh, vote on uh, a budget. Vote yeah. on the budget and the school board members. You worked hard. I you did. read all the information, so you were an informed voter. Voting is important, right? I but while you're at the school, what do you go do? I I want I want to visit I want to visit my old oh 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 my old class. That was pretty good, huh? And it's really nice. So there we are. We have made great strides in the medical arena. Get a good education, and then you got to leave the school system when you're 21. It's like going over the 21 year old cliff. There's a big nothing. People are healthy and they're educated. We just don't have enough to offer people. Um, so the big challenge, I think, is a grouping of employment, housing, and community. We're working on the employment, right? How many jobs have we created here? We, we created a very nice job. Right. And, we, and we hold a country and different, different things. 23 of those jobs are held by people with different ability. We're trying to grow so we can employ more people. And we want to do what we can to help create more housing and more housing options for people with different abilities, right? That's good stuff. All right, why don't we wrap up, pal? Okay. Right? Well, good morning? Good morning. Look at you. Are you going to turn into a morning person? Good morning. Wake <laughs> up, Melville. Well, I don't think you're just talking to Melville out there. People around the world are checking you out. <laughs> all right, buddy. Um, all right. So, what's the name of our business? Socks.com. John's Crazy Socks. Go to johnscrazysocks.com. People are going to find socks. And what else? That's like more socks. And what's the new product we have? Greeting card. And who designed a lot of those greeting cards? I did. And your colleagues, our colleagues with differing abilities, right? Right. Very special. So folks, we think we're gonna do this on a regular basis. It means I gotta get up extra early, but I'll do it for you. You're the boss man, right? Christy tells us to show up early, we show up early. Good stuff? Good stuff. All right, well we hope you folks have a great day out there. You wanna say goodbye, John? Uh, uh, good morning. <laughs> have a great day. Have a good day.